In a traditional healing home in Nigeria's Ibadan, Olushegun is in shackles. One of hundreds of thousands of men, women and children with mental health conditions that Human Rights Watch said on Tuesday are living in chains. It's been five months since the chain was put on my legs. It hurts when I walk. Through nearly 800 interviews, a Human Rights Watch report has described how people in roughly 60 countries can live shackled for years, chained to trees, locked in cages or imprisoned in animal sheds. Around a third of those countries are in sub-Saharan Africa. Kriti Sharma is a senior disability rights researcher for the NGO. We have documented shackling across countries, cultures, socioeconomic strata, um, ethnicities. It's a practice that is occurring around the world. And that is why governments need to take action now and stop brushing this issue under the carpet. Yes, sir. Last year, Nigerian raids on Islamic rehabilitation centers made global headlines after boys and men told of being shackled, beaten and sexually abused. But the NGO said that such abuse extends around the world, in state-run and private centers, and in traditional and religious healing institutions, where handlers deny people food, force medications and herbal remedies on them, and met out physical and sexual punishment. Sharma added that in many countries, such services are very profitable businesses. 